sound. Welcome back to Best Beginner Guitar Lessons. Today we're going to show you four of the basic cards in the Key of G. And with these four cards, you will be able to play hundreds of songs. If you're looking to learn how to play guitar and be able to play your favorite songs uh, for your family and friends or get together in a little band or for your church choir, whatever you want to do. If you're wanting to learn guitar and learn it by learning how to play songs, then this lesson is for you. With these four cards, you'll be able to play hundreds of songs, possibly even thousands of songs, once you know how to transpose, which I'll, I'll transpose cards, uh, which I'll cover in another lesson. But today we're going to talk about four cards. And they're the G, and the E minor, and the C, and the D. I have so many students ask me, uh, how, uh, how can I play these cards and make them sound clear and be able to transition from one to another smoothly? That's the biggest problem every beginner has. And uh, in the beginning, it is very hard uh, to play the G and the C and the E minor and the C and the D. Because what happens is, when you play the G and you go to C, you have to bring all your fingers up, lay them back to C. And in the meantime, your strumming slows down or stops, and you have a big gap within your strumming pattern. Also, when you go to D from C, okay, D to C, or C to D, same thing. Your fingers are having to come up. It takes time to get to the next card and get them back down. So with these cards today, and the way I'm going to show you how to play them, you will be able to be able to switch from one to the other much easier, play the chords sound clean without any fret buzz, and just be a whole lot easier. So here's what we're going to do. On the G card, the way we're going to do it, your third and fourth finger will be on the first and second strings, third fret. You lock them in right there. They will not move at all. Okay, third and fourth finger. Okay, first and second strings on the third fret. Then you'll take your first finger, put it on the fifth string, second fret. Now when I say second fret, I mean just behind it, right next to it, but not on top of it. On that side of it, towards the headstock. Take your third finger, put it on the sixth string, third fret. There's your G. Sounds like this. Really nice sounding chord. Okay, just hold that now. There's G. You leave the third and fourth finger locked in. They don't move. They stay right there. This is what makes this transition between these cards much, much easier than having to play the, the uh, normal way, the way they're shown uh, as far as the C, G, E minor, D, the standard way. Okay. So here's the G, we're on G. To go to E minor, all you're going to need to do is move your first finger. Okay, I'm sorry, your second finger. Your first finger is already where it needs to be on the fifth string. It's already there. All you have to do is move your second finger to the fourth string, second fret, right next to the first finger. So now you're holding the fifth and the fourth strings on the second fret. The bottom two fingers, third and fourth finger, still locked in on the first and second string, third fret. There's E minor. Okay, hold that. So all we got to go is G to E minor. Then to go to C, leave your third and fourth finger locked in. Okay, move your second finger to the fifth string. Okay, third fret. Second finger to the to the uh, fifth string, third fret. Your first finger will move, okay, to the fourth string, second fret. Fourth string, second fret. C. That's all there is to it. Then finally for the D, still locked in with the third and fourth finger, move your first finger to the third string, second fret. And your second finger is up at that point. So you have your first finger on the third string, second fret. And you have your third and fourth finger still locked in on the first and second strings on the third fret. 
D. You want to strum the bottom four strings. So here we go. Let's check. Let's check them out. See how we're coming. G. First finger, fifth string, second fret. Second finger, sixth string, third fret. And you first and second. Uh, I'm sorry. Third and fourth finger on the first and second strings, third fret. Remember, they're locked in at the bottom. They don't. They do not come up. They stay right there. When you're playing all four of these cards together. Okay? So we have G. In order to go to C, just take your first and second fingers and move them down one string each. They're on the correct frets, which is the second and third fret. So take your first and second finger, go on to C, and move them down to the fourth and fifth string, second and third fret. C. So that's all that happens. Third and fourth finger still locked in. Okay? Then go to E minor. You'll have your first finger on the fifth string, second fret. Second finger on the fourth string, second fret. Again, the bottom two still locked in for E minor. Go to C. Your first finger will be on fourth string, second fret. Okay? Your second finger on the fifth string, third fret. C card. Still locked in with the bottom two. And then D. Just take your first finger, move it to the third string, second fret. Two, two bottom is still locked in. That's D. That's all there is to it. So here we go. Let's transition from one to the G. E minor. C. D, and you go to, remember when you go to D, only your first finger will move to the third string, second fret for D. Okay? Your second finger is not used for D. And then back to G. So G, I'd use down strokes to start with. D e minor, go to remember, fourth and fifth string, second fret. Then go to C. Need, just hit the bottom four. All right, so let's see how they sound again. Four strums. And then D. That's it. All right, I'm going to strum them here and let you hear them in a strum pattern. description below that will take you uh, to diagrams of these four cards showing you the way I've just shown you here in the video how to make them study the diagrams and practice the cards and again before you ever start practicing always check your guitar for tuning that's the very first step make sure your guitar is in tune because if it's not you surely won't be hearing the cards right and things just will not sound right so always check your guitar Make sure it's in tune. And the link will be down below in the description showing you the position of these four cards like we just went over. Uh, and while you're here on the YouTube channel, I'd like to invite you to subscribe. Again, the link to subscribe to my YouTube channel is in the description also. And one more thing. Uh, I have a complete step-by-step -step beginner's guitar course on my website that's completely free. Over five plus hour step-by-step uh, -step video guitar lesson tutorial, and it's showing you one, two, three, four, five in order, right on down. Thirty-eight lessons step by step, and that in this way you'll know exactly what to practice from one one lesson to the other, 
in an orderly manner. So many, so many courses are not laid out that way. Uh, and especially you get on the internet, you may learn a, 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 a run or a progression from one teacher, you go to another, and there's someone else playing, showing you how to play a solo, lead guitar, pentatonic scales, skip it all over. That, that's not going to be what you want. You want a systematic, proven, step-by-step -step lesson course laid out. And that's what you'll find on my website. Again, it's bestbeginnergitarlessons.com. And I'll put the link to the site down below. It won't be anything to buy. Nothing, nothing uh, no trial, no credit card required. They're completely free. So if you don't have any questions, or if you do have any questions, excuse me. If you do have any questions, I'm always here to help. Always glad to help. Because my passion is to teach you how to play guitar. And with these four cards, once you learn these four cards, the world of the guitar is going to open up to you. And you'll be playing all types of songs. Whatever you like. Rock, country, blues, whatever it may be. With these four cards. And once you get really good at playing these four, change it from one to the other. Which should not take you long, because the way we're showing them here is a very easy way. And then you can add to it, and I'll show you in one of my other videos how to transpose a song. If it's in a hard key, has some hard cards in it, I'll show you how to transpose that song. And transpose it into some easy cards like these four. So let's go play some guitar. Thank <laughs> you. 